Hi, welcome to the PyTorch Summer Hackathon. I'm Hao Chi Fan, a research engineer from the Facebook AI research team. So, in the PyTorch open source community, our world class AI team has been built many powerful tools to help your program understand many things. Things like image, audio, 3D, and etc. So, now I want to offer you some ways, or at least offer you some thoughts on helping your program to better understand video. Here, allow me to introduce you to PySofast, which is one of the leading PyTorch video understanding code base for research in the open source community. PySofast is a code base that contains the state-of-art video recognition algorithms from the world-class Facebook AI team. It provides the code for building deep neural networks that enable the computer to see and to understand the video. And more specifically, the model implemented in PySofast will allow your program to automatically recognize activities of human as performed in the video. And more concretely, it performs the state of art on tasks like video classification and video action detection. So, what does it mean to the hackathon? Maybe we could get some more concrete idea by looking at one of the demo we prepared here. By utilizing the pre-processed bounding box from a portrait human detector, which can be easily done with detection two, then giving an arbitrary video from the real world, or here, for example, from a movie, we could easily detect each of the human with their corresponding actions. So, for example, you are able to see there's a green bounding boxes and red bounding boxes in the video demo. The red bounding boxes are indicating the ground truth. And in the meanwhile, the green bounding boxes are the predictions from the human detector. And maybe more importantly, you will also see some class labels and their corresponding confidence on top of each of the bounding boxes, which is clearly the prediction results from the model to predict the actions, indicating the actions performed in the video, which is predicted by our neural networks. On the other hand, you will also see some ground truth class labels on the bottom, which does not, does not really exist in the real world. We are just showing it here as a reference. It is interesting to see that even though a lot of actions are actually very hard and fine-grained, the model is still able to correctly predict the labels and the predictions and the ground truths are largely aligned. For example, here, the model is not only able to tell the actions from these two person, but more impressively, the model is also able to tell the fine-grained interactions between this gentleman and the lady, more specifically, who is the one talking and who is the one listening. By showing the demo here, I hope it could give you some very straightforward and very clear idea of how PySofast can help you and for your own tasks. It is also worth to know that the PySofast is designed to be hackable, which means the PySofast code base is very, very easy to hack and very easy to modify for your own tasks. And maybe more importantly, the model supported in the PySofast code base are literally the cutting edge models, which we hope you could largely benefit from it and benefit from, from the good performance. And lastly, we have provided a large and comprehensive group of virtual model tools, which the models are with different capacity. And by offering the options, we, we hope it could help you to customize for your own tasks. If you have ready, can wait to play with the Pi so fast. Here is a simple command you could do in order to play with it. By keeping by picking up a config file and the number of GPUs you like to use, then executing the command here, you will able to run the Pi so fast code, where taking the video inputs and learn to predict its corresponding labels. In order to help you to kick start, I'll dive a little bit deeper to show you the main logic behind the command. 
here is the main logic and there's corresponding code. The code will start with constructing the video understanding models and then prepare the data. Data preparation is always now the easiest part of the video understanding code base, which you need to decode the video and prepare the data. So here the code base have already take care of everything. The main logic of decoding, first, you need to get the original raw video. It can either come from a file or from a streaming video from your camera. Then we need to decode the raw video into a bunch of frames with optional selected coding to speed it up. After that, we will need a temporal and spatial sampling to finalize the data preparation. Okay, back to the main logic. After decoding, if you like to train the network with the data we prepared, which the training is optional, then we could have the model be trained through the train logic, including the training here and the batch norm statistic adjustment and the evaluation. After repeat the training logic for many, many times, we could jump to the testing or you could directly jump to the testing with the model we prepared for you. So after perform the multiple testing, the network will share you what's the prediction results and you could use the prediction results of actions for your own task. So in the last slide of the presentation, here is a link to the GitHub where you could find the Python fast code base 